What's going on YouTube land? Happy New Year. Wow, 2024 is upon us. I can't believe that. Um, that's, that's pretty crazy. Hope everyone is excited to start a start fresh, start new, whatever you're looking for in your 2024. Hopefully that happens for you. Uh, that's, uh, that's my goal here, road to scratch. I'm really, 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 really hoping, really hoping that I can get to scratch by this summer. So well, keep grinding. Um, the winter months are upon us here and I have not been able to get out on the course. The last video I posted was of my awesome Christmas present, which was the driving mat and the golf nets I can set up in the garage, which is wonderful. However, as the weird weather continues here, um, I was able to get out to the driving range yesterday on New Year's Eve and that was pretty wild, but take advantage when you can, right? So whole family joined me. I uh, got everyone out there, including my friend Matt joined us as well. And at the end of this video, we have a little wedge contest between my friend Matt and my son. And in between, I was working on a few things, uh, hopefully to really get into a groove and getting used to the things I'm trying to do. Again, I am working on getting away from my steep swing getting into much more shallow position down through the ball. Um, and one thing that I'm really, really kind of focused on at this point is getting my left wrist in a position where it's flat, if not bowed at the top and then down through impact. So that's what I was doing on the range. Uh, I watched a little bit of the video before I did some editing. So certainly more to work on, but it's, it's getting there. The progress for me is exciting because I'm actually forcing myself to act to, to to take some steps back, which is hard in golf. Uh, you get to a point where you're you can play, but in order to continue to improve, it's like a two or three step back process in order to move one or two steps ahead. Generally, it's like one step ahead once you break it down. So that's my next kind of breakdown of the swing is flat, if not bowed position at the top, and then shallow down through impact. When I do it right, it is awesome. Um, so without further ado. Let's get out to the range and just, you can watch the range session. It's pretty much just raw stuff. Um, and we had some fun, so. Hello, sir. You dropped your glove over there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I left it for you. Thanks. I figured he probably needs that one. Have you hit off these yet? No. The last time I was here, they had like 20 of them, but they hadn't gone all the way down yet. So it's nice to have all these up. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. I mean, obviously you can hit off this stuff too. Yeah. And then you put your tees in these little slots oh, yeah. and you can tee it just like it's going in the ground. No, it's not, but you can just stick it in here. So kind of fancy. I've been hitting into a net. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah. And you can do it at home and you can feel what, if it's on the face or not and whatever, but you get to swing it and hit it. And Edge do this though. I'm gonna kind of run through the bag quickly, Sage, but then we can do some wedge work. The, the theme of the day for me is gonna be, how do you take spin off of a wedge and hit it lower and straight so you can hit it where you want every time?
Oh. Whoops. Hitting it and look where that little circle is. That's as centered as you can get. Here. Nice. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of those. <laughs> the ball reacted. I mean, some of these, if they've, half of them are loft compression, that weather, it's kind of like wants to do it, and then it's almost just like slingshots back, and it gets all goofy in the air. Something. Stealing your, your balls. You're stealing some? Yep. You're actually taking them from me. Yep. That's a crime in some countries. No. Um, <laughs> not here, but some. and see if you can stay shallow. If it comes out low, I've gotten somewhere. Let's see if I can just mentally do this. Somewhere in between. I think I tried to snap that around. That cheated. I cheated that one. Hit it. Oh. Okay, I'm ready for my wedge contest now. I almost hit the flag. Well, I think for you, it's just when you when you rotate through the ball as opposed to letting you, like rotating just your arms through the ball. Like when you're busting those drives, it's because your your whole body's going with it, right? It's not it's not out of sync. Everything's connected together. And that's that's all it is for you. Yeah, and so when you start getting wristy, you start getting up here. You get high too. Yeah. Just yeah. I like. Well, that's a hard thing. That's what I'm trying to do. Like I'm trying to like feel. This motion, not, I don't want that, but right. I feel when I do When you it. do it, yeah. And that's, that's been hard for me to feel that. Yeah. That's why, that's why, like, for me, trying to get out of that, that steep position, especially in the wedges, I do that, that drill where I'm trying to hit those li really low stingers because sometimes I can't quite feel, especially with wedges, like, was I steep or not? I just watch the ball flight and don't know. But if I do that, that drill, and it, it, the action of the ball tells me yes or no. 
because it's like you're hitting on the face. Okay, you're hitting on the face, but where? But why is it spinning more? I don't know if it's steep or not. Um, but if I do that drill, like that's why I come like, I'll say, okay, that's what did I say, 154 to that red flag over on the left. And I was like, what's my 154 club? And I club up twice and then try and hit it on the green. So let's try, do I have one out? So like, this is probably like three clubs up. So set, let's try and hit a seven iron on the green. I mean, this is, this is where you have to stay shallow or it's, there's no way you're gonna hit it short enough. And, and for me, it's, it's focusing on going back. It's just like, with, I feel like I'm, when I'm chipping, I, it's, my, my elbow's nice and bent, and it's just my, my left arm, everything's one piece, and it's really easy for me to chip it. But when I'm in my full swing, some, for some reason, that downswing, I wanna, I'm, I'm pulling as opposed to rotating, and with this drill, you have to. And so even, that's why I'm saying, like, I don't know unless I do this sometimes, because you hit on the face, it does, doesn't tell you much. So I probably have to aim pretty far right here. And then you gotta wait. Oh, that's gone. See, I didn't do it. I got steeper, more spin. See ya. It's a cool action though, right? That's probably gone too. Yeah, I know. I like it. Almost hit the pin. What it does is it's keeping that rotation. Yeah, you, you have to rotate, which means you have to be shallow, right? If you're steep, you're gonna be really handsy. Well, you're hitting your shallow because you're already steep. You're just keeping it shallow. Exactly. Yep. Okay. It's just, you're just staying on that path. Yeah. And the lower you keep your hands through impact, the more you stay rotated through and the lower the ball goes, which is more control. <laughs> and again, great shot to have in the winter. <laughs> because this, you get into like another drill I do is, when I'm, you know, hitting stingers is a cool thing, but it also makes sense if you know what you're using it for. You know, like the right, the right, the right play. Um, yeah, sure. Same thing. It will not stay low if I get steep because it's just going to be flip, right, and then tons of spin. So it's kind of the same swing. You just want to complete the backswing, but it's like that handle has to be at the ball. And I'm going to try and finish with my hands here. This is so hard for me, but it's a it's a great drill. God, it was close. That's probably the lowest I've hit it in a while. Well, I think that's what I was doing is I had it too far forward too. So I'm trying to play it just, just like if that's middle, then like one ball back a middle. Yeah. It's too high. Dude, that, see, that had spin on it, didn't roll. Grab your basket, partner. Yeah, you bet, man. Thank you. <laughs> the Brian Bros gave a description of like, kind of the objective on the follow through. Is he, he thinks about his, his thumbs pointing up at the sky because that's the rotation you want. Yeah, it's just like that. And if, it, if they're not pointing to the sky, right? So it's like, just rotates through. Yeah. And it was cool, because he was like talking about how to hit the perfect shot. And they're playing, I think they're playing in Hawaii or somewhere. And he talks about, he's kind of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys, he's kind of joking, I'm gonna tell you guys to hit the perfect shot. And he kind of describes that whole motion. And then he hits one. 
<laughs> it's all in one. <laughs> like that's pretty much as perfect as you get. It's almost like you're trapping it almost into the ground. And if you get it, if you're really close, sometimes I've done it where I've hit it into the ground and it's kind of bounced and gone. Yeah. But you don't want to obviously want to smash it into the ground. That's just why you got to stay shallow. Otherwise you will. Really? You're cramping my style, lady. Are you figuring something out? Is that what that means? Do you want to do wedge? Okay. Middle. What I said that was 114. They're all pretty close. Yeah. Here, let's give Matt a couple decent ones here. One. Yeah, 113. Two. I'll take the non dimpled ones, but I get to hit out of the rough then. The rough? The What'd you say, 113 or 114? 113. No decimal? 112, actually, because it's down did you, oh, you adjusted? 112 adjusted? Just flat 112 though? You're not messing with me? What? <laughs> what? Well, that definitely didn't have dimples. I think someone can beat that. Spin. Okay, Matt's up. Beat it, Sage. Just gotta cut a little bit. That's too that's too far. Nope. Alright. Long. First one's tough to beat. Short left. Boo. 